Hello everybody, welcome to another True Review. Today I'm bringing you Super Party Sports Football on the Xbox One. It's by a company called Handy Games and releases on the 4th of December. It's reasonably priced at $3.99 if you're in the UK and $4.99 if you're in the EU or North America. It's a kind of physics puzzler kind of game. The best way I would compare it is to Worms, where you have to defeat all your opponents. While in this game, because it's football themed, your players are positioned around the level as your opponents are, and you have to pass the football, choosing the angles and strengths of your shots between your players, taking out the opposing players before you can finally put the ball in the goal. And how the game is ranked is it's ranked all on time, on the speed you complete the level, the time you have remaining. There's a free trophy system, so it's obviously clearly a mobile part of this, but that's by no means a bad thing. It's based on time, usually you have about 20-15 seconds remaining on the clock is enough to get the free trophies for that level. Now it's a really, really clever idea to be honest with you, it kind of adds a little bit of spice, because we've seen these many, many of these games where you have one shot to kind of like... A complete level but on this one you actually pass it between your players there's numerous enemies or opponents let's call them because it is a football game where who have different abilities there's the normal ones there's ones that jump up and do like a header or try to block your shots there's big burly enemies which are bullies who when you actually have possession of the ball they'll charge towards your player and if they touch you they'll take that player out of the game but there's also a referee as well who I, you don't have to take out but he will penalise you with yellow or red cards if he sees you take a player out in his field of vision. Now you can actually take the referee out when you, if you get a special ability, which there's a number of them in the game. There's special abilities that make the ball super tough, like spiky, and it will plough through a number of players without stopping. And there is also power-up, which makes your ball made out of metal, which prevents the ball popping on spikes, which are introduced later on in the game. Now, when I first originally looked at the idea in this game, I thought it's not really going to work this, but it actually is quite addictive, and for the price, it's definitely worth anybody's money in taking a punt, because it will fill a nice little bit of time, really. There's 10 levels per cup, and there's also 10 cups, so that's 100 levels for the price that you pay for the game. And the pricing they've got spot on, to be honest with you, because I've seen many, many games on the Xbox One Marketplace outprice themselves really. They're games where people may be a bit unsure about, but then when they look at the price, they think I'm not taking a chance on that. But this game, it's reasonably priced. It's $3.99, $4.99, depending on where you are in the world. And that's, that's just a bargain for this really, 100 levels, and it is very, very addictive to try and get those three trophies. Now graphically, it's done in a nice cartoony style. You can pick the nation shirt that you wear there is also comedy costumes as well which you unlock by spending coins which you accumulate by knocking the ball around the levels and bouncing the ball into the coins the coins these are purely cosmetic but the coins are more importantly used at the start of each level you can purchase special footballs the first football prevents your players being knocked out by bullies and being penalized by the referee and the second ball will Add more time to the clock when you defeat opponents, which makes the levels an awful lot easier to do. And the one criticism I would have with the game is because it's a mobile part, the controls could have translated better to console because at the moment you're aiming and the strength of your shot is controlled by the same thing, either the D-pad or the stick. And when you're adjusting the angle, sometimes unfortunately you decrease or increase your power of your shot. I've played similar games like this on the Xbox One and on various other consoles which are mobile ports and for me personally it's always better if your strength of your shot is controlled by the shoulder buttons and leave the stick just to control the angle of the shot but fortunately that's not being implemented so it does deter from the overall score I'm going to give the game a little bit because it's sometimes hard to get precise shots off because while you're adjusting the angle you're also changing your power and it gets a little bit annoying at times but it's a minor niggle really and it doesn't really spoil the enjoyment at all of the game that much I wouldn't, a bit of advice I would give anybody playing this game, definitely use the D-pad for the control because the sticks are far, far too sensitive and probably mentioned earlier is, is exaggerated a lot more when you're using the sticks. Sound-wise, it's pretty basic stuff. You um, hear the crowd chanting and there's a nice bit of music in there. 
and it's a nice little uh, crying sound when you do fail a level. But overall, it's a, it's a very enjoyable game, and I did enjoy my time with the game, and I'm going to definitely complete the 100 levels of it. At the moment, I'm only about halfway through. So I'm going to give Super Party Sports Football a 7 out of 10. Really, really enjoyed it, and like I say, for the price, you can't really go wrong. It'll provide great value for money. Oh, just while I remember as well, just in regards to the achievements, the achievements look a pretty straightforward list. They're basically for completing the levels, completing the levels with all three trophies, and for defeating X amount of enemies. And there's a few other miscellaneous ones which shouldn't be too much trouble as well. With this type of game, solutions tend to get posted on the various achievement hunting websites. So if you are an achievement hunter, this should be a pretty easy thousand game score. And like I say, for the price, it's definitely worth a punt because you will get you will get your value for money out of this title. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed that review and please remember to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on my various social media pages, it really does help me build the channel and get these reviews to you as quickly as possible. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.